half years ago, I just started looking, looking around the city. You know, people are just really literally starving for affordable housing. Today, the city of Sioux City celebrated the groundbreaking for the Isabella Square Affordable Housing Development at 1200 and 1211 West 5th Street. I found this city block and I thought, well, what's going on with it? Did a little investigating, ended up starting some conversations with Dan Heiserode and his son Dylan. We were pondering for a long time what to do on this site and uh, Julie, uh, she, she approached us a couple years ago and said, what do you guys think about doing this for the community? And we thought, this, this is a great idea. And I actually thought perhaps the city could purchase the property from them because it had been sitting vacant for so many years, but he had another idea to work with the city, which I couldn't love more. Partnerships are what we really need to do in our community to get this housing shortage fixed. With 11 three-bedroom single-family homes, the city hopes to alleviate some of the pressure of the housing deficit. We all know housing can be so unattainable, home ownership can be for a lot of folks and this makes it attainable. We've got a small little test project um, not too far from here and, and the homes were sold before they were actually 100% complete and I think we're gonna experience that now too. With the positivity from both the city and the developers, it seems there will be more projects like this in the future. The city's working um, with Habitat uh, with three lots that are again not too far from here. They're near our other small development. We've got a lot of little pocket projects that are coming up. It's nice to us to be able to do this for, for kind of the uh, lower income uh, families as well. So they have the opportunity to, to have a, a home for themselves. Six of the homes are expected to be completed by the end of 2024. The final five will be finished in 2025. That's great news. And we're also told this project specifically got a major boost from different grants and state dollars. Is that right? Yeah, almost two and a half million dollars in federal funding are being used to complete the development. That's great news for a lot of families. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Elizabeth.